In this video today I am going to introduce a very different kind of oud oil or you can say perfume oil that is from Rasasi. Now most of the perfumes from Rasasi I don't like so I have tried many of their perfumes I didn't like any of them. So I saw this um, oil perfume oil in Nikhil's video um, and uh, I really enjoyed this one. So this is actually Altaif, Altaif from Rasasi, Altaif. So let's see over here like this. So Altaif from Rasasi. So why it is called Altaif? It has Taif roses in it. So Taif roses, I'm going to tell you how they actually smell. So this is the bottle over here. This is how the bottle looks like very nice they have some calligraphy some pattern over it and i really love this bottle so uh, the package is also very nice the bottle is also very nice i really uh, like this one this is not generic bottle uh, you are not going to find this bottle or this designs or these patterns on most of the bottles okay so Altaif from Sasi. Now why it is called Altaif? Because it has Taif roses in it and Taif rose is a bit of um, not very dense rose you find in other atars or other perfume oils. It is very light, a little bit on lighter side, not very punchy and it has a bit of vibrating kind of smell which is I would say that lime or tangerine or orange uh, little bit sore, little bit rosy, uh, very light rose. If you have smelled pink roses, um, light pink roses, kind of smell like that. And it has added uh, the aldehyde or the effect of that uh, tangerine or you can say lime effect or sore effect in it. So it is sore, it is uh, rosy and it has some oud in the background. So right now I have applied it over here on my arm because I'm making a lot of uh, reviews and videos in the one go. So I'm going to smell over here. <sighs> dominant is rose, type rose. This is very dominant. That is why it is uh, named Altaif because it doesn't have too much oud in it or the oud is in the background just balancing it. I don't detect much oud over here but it is not pure Taif, uh, Taif rose. I think there is some hint of Hindi oud in the background, very good Hindi oud mixed uh, with Taif roses, most dominant are Taif roses. So if you have, uh, you can say you are allergic to rose note, I think you should just try this one because it is not very punchy. Uh, if you don't like in the beginning keep it for one year when I bought this one almost two years ago uh, and when I sniffed the first sniff I didn't like it much after now two years this is smelling great so if I rate all the uh, all the different oils I have I think they are this is going to be in my top five this is really nice this is not very pure or you can say not all the ingredients are pure there are some chemicals added to this one but still this is a very nice perfume oil it has a lot of type roses uh, it has some oud a little bit of oud in the background and really nice really nice combination from rasasi i don't like most of their perfumes but this one is really good so if you are a beginner and you uh, want to try different uh, oils or oud oils or you like rose this is really going to change your direction. This is totally different rose. Uh, it is not the rose you find uh, absolute ro rose or rose oil you find in different others you normally buy. This is totally different. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you are a beginner, you can try this one uh, and you are not going to regret, I guess. I think I bought it for $115. Uh, from Amazon I think uh, it is not easily available uh, maybe it's still, still available on uh, Amazon right now but I don't know anyhow I will try to uh, give the link in the description to buy this uh, from Amazon uh, and uh, till then I'm going to make sure that you keep on smelling good uh, scents and you find 
the one your signature one i haven't found my signature scent yet uh, but trying to find more and more so till then don't forget to like subscribe and share this video we will meet in another video with another scent or perfume oil till then take care and bye